Hi guys, I thought I'd try and do one in my kitchen. I don't think the light's going to be good enough, is it? So, I might have to turn the main light off. But then I tried that and it was too dark. And I had to lower it down so that you can see the kitchen top. Because otherwise you wouldn't be able to uh, see anything. So, and I've not got dressed or anything. <laughs> Full disclosure, I've not even got dressed. I did go out for my walk this morning though. Uh, it was good, yeah, because I didn't overeat last night. Bit of progress there. And um, this morning I felt really bouncy, so I bounced around the streets for just for 10 minutes. So that's really good. And I've been, it's so absorbing doing the um, YouTube videos. Um, got some better, well, better content. Oh, well, this will go up after the better, the better content. So. <clears throat> anyway, it's been 15 hours since I've eaten because. Um, it amazes me that I've gone that time because I ate less yesterday at an earlier time. So I've been able to go 15 hours on top of that because I'm just so absorbed in doing the. So I'm happier with my la more latest content. And I feel really good because I'm getting that bloody message out there that I want to get out that I've been trying to do for years. So I always go after your favourite thing, peeps. You know, and uh, you won't spend time on addiction so much kind of thing. I'm going to pause, pause and get going. Somebody's knocking at the door, actually. Oh, it's my um, housemate came back. <laughs> he bought a load of cheap bread from the co-op, like really cheap, and we go, oh, look, oh, yeah, let's see, let's see if we can freeze it all. Um, but I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm having to eat. Hold on. It's hardly worth showing you. It's the end of the loaf. <laughs> it looks so awful. But... Um, what it is, is um, spelt, pure spelt bread. I'm so lucky, like, up at the station, there's a stall there every day, and they sell this pure spelt bread. I have to get there early sometimes, because it, it goes, kind of, and it's very variable. But then sometimes if I go at six o'clock, they're selling it for half price, so it's even better. But, uh, yeah, so um, I'll just pause while I go to the next stage. Yeah, what I eat a lot is lentils, and I just bung them in one of these containers and put them in the fridge. At the moment, I've got some really good tin ones. Normally, I hate tin food, like the beans and stuff are rubbish, but not beans, um, anything in tins, basically, like the vegetables and stuff. But the, these are Sainsbury's uh, green lentils. <laughs> you can see the fact that I put a plastic cap on rather than put it into another container. Well, um, cannellini beans, they're really good. There's some... Um, Tim, by accident, got me these expensive ones, and they're so good. It's so worth getting the expensive beans, because um, the cheap ones from Tesco, well, 55p, these were... But these have been reduced to 65p in Sainsbury's. Um, the cheap ones are hard, hard as rock, so they're just horrible. But these are, you know, good, good quality every time. These baked beans. <laughs> I, I'm so happy that they make spelt breads now, you know, pure spelt, and also baked beans. Um, these don't have any sugar in, they're sweetened with apple juice, and what else about them? No wheat, yeah, no corn flour, no wheat, so they're things I'll have to watch out for as well, which is such a pain. But thank God they're producing much more food now. And I've got a um, container of, um, oh, hardly worth showing you, but it's an Uncle Ben's. Thing. But I don't normally eat Uncle Ben's rice because um, this one, I love this. It's one of my favourites if you're going to eat, you know, crappy um, stuff like, oh, I'm down. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Pray. Um, if you eat crappy pouch rice, oh, the light's ridiculous, isn't it? Um, I don't normally eat rubbish stuff like this, but um, I do as a treat, you know, and it's quick and it's tasty and stuff and this one's got yeast in so normally I avoid yeast like the plague like if I have marmite it bubbles up in my stomach and it's horrible it's really horrible it's just not worth having believe it or not I love I adore marmite and I need the B vitamin so it's really gutting that I can't eat it but this has got yeast and I thought I'd try it because I haven't had any for years and see how my guts are and I had a bit last night and I was all right this morning so um and um here, here's the other stuff that I, doesn't have any rubbish any tilda stuff they've got quite a few as you can see they've got quite a few um different ones i can have i have to really carefully check the ingredients you can see it's orange writing 
there's no rubbish in it, just you know, rice, peppers, onions, tomato paste, sun dried tomato paste, yeah. sunflower oil, basil, yeah, sugar, salt, oregano, etc. And um, here's another really, really good, tasty one. I'm so lucky now that there's lots of um, ones about with, with no rubbish in them. Short grain rice, cooked, oh, cooked tomato, onion, red pepper, sunflower, garlic, lemon, tomato paste, herbs, chilli, paprika extract. Some of them are a bit hot for me. There's a Mexican rice one by the Tilda one. A little bit hot, not not too hot because I'm very very sensitive. So. God, I'm so sensitive. But um, yeah, so I'll couple, I'll get that bit of bread and I'll bung miso on it because I, I love salt because I'm stressed a lot. I think my kidneys, my adrenal glands, you know, I'm craving salt all the time. So I overdo it with salt. But I put that on the bread rather than butter. Although I love butter so much and I have it sometimes. Yeah, I've got um some butter in my fridge which is not it's unpasteurized yeah they sell it in waitrose other shops say they can't sell unpasteurized stuff but waitrose has got just this one product this butter like milk you can't get it's illegal and stuff where am i so bad I should have the rabbit, shouldn't I? And start, give myself a break. Just stop playing with the rabbit. Have an interlude or something. Come back. <laughs> Sorry about this. Um, <laughs> what else did I want to tell you? Oh, just about the raw stuff. Yeah, raw, you know, milk and I'd love to try all that. See if I can digest it. Because they say, like, you can digest the, the raw stuff. You know, it's just because it's pasteurised, it does you in sort of thing. So, but yeah, anyway, I put that on the bread and then I'll pile on whatever I fancy. Like I might have the Mexican rice with the baked beans and there's not many in there and some lentils or something. It's really fiddly. It takes bloody ages to pee about, to be honest. But then later on I'll have a piece of um, camet bread, which I can get from my favourite food shop down the road, um, Infinity Foods. Pure camera, it's brilliant. I love it, and it's really you know, you can get loads of goodness out of it. It's not like the rubbish bread they sell in the shops, and <laughs> and um, I think it's hilarious what I'm doing right now. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave it at that for now because I'll watch this back and see if it's postable or not, and um, do another one another time. There's more food, food things. Okay, bye for now. Love myself. <laughs> Thought I'd show you my chicky. <laughs> Obviously, I use um, a telephone um, alarm thing now, but um, although my phone's acting up, the battery is bloody going on it. So it's a good job I've got things like this. You know, it's a, a timer. <gasps> Don't take life too seriously, he says. I'm very busy, chickies, aren't we? <laughs> it's always busy doing stuff. You know, stops and has some seeds and stuff. <laughs> Goes shopping and make, lay some eggs for me and all sorts. <laughs> I'm trying to say, don't take life too seriously. Okay, bye. Look, she's back again. <laughs> I didn't like that last ending, so I pressed pause. Anyway, post-kitchen debrief. Um, it's 12.45 now, and I'm going in for a second round of food. Uh, first round was at 11.40. So it's been an hour, so I have to wait and see what effect it has on me first, even though it's only like less than 200 calories. You know what I mean? It's quite hard sometimes, but I feel okay today. I'm not sure why. My stomach's getting used to the intermittent fasting, I think, since I've been doing these YouTube videos. Um, I've been able to do the intermittent fasting because it's so absorbing, it's taken up all my time. And I'd normally want to eat, I'd normally be searching around for food really much, much earlier. So, um, and uh, I keep um, a really religious, strict food diary because I've always, you know, trying to look for the perfect diet for me, kind of thing, which isn't necessarily right for other people because everyone's got different genetics but um so and I'm hoping to publish that at some stage or you know, some of it I've kept it for years so there's tons of it and I'm not sure about uh, if it's going to be that useful but anyway I hope to get a blog going for that I have got a blog but I haven't posted anything but because I need to sort out, sort, sort out all the social media side and stuff like that but I wonder if I'm just trying to be perfectionist and I should just but the, the thing about the blog 
I can't even, it hasn't even got a subscribe button on it at the moment. So if people come to my blog, you know, and like what they see, they can't even subscribe to me. So they won't know when I'm putting a new post up. So I don't like that. So I'd rather get that sorted out first, wouldn't you, Bunny? Hmm. Yeah, get it done. Get it done. <laughs> so I've got to say bye from Bunny as well. I forgot what I was going to do with Bunny. I practiced for a little while and I've forgotten. <sighs> Hold on. Oh, I can't do it now. <laughs> I'm making it laugh. It's so annoying. Anyway, you come on to say, be gentle, because he's all fluffy and so Be gentle, be kind, be nice to each other. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Happy. So happy. Mm. <laughs> okay. Have a good day. Bye.